Well, that was a fantastic break. I got so much done. <laughs> so how about we go into a... Why don't they just... I don't know if I like that one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Mm. We'll give that a four. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Three-ish. Yeah. The Russian judge gives a two. <laughs> so so, so today's... Today's Why Don't They Ooh, Just comes with like a fun little gif. animation here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so this is from Jeff. Gonzanator 1982. Uh, he says, why don't they just make a two-stage electric aircraft, a powerful autonomous boost section for takeoff and climb, detaches and returns to the origin. This sounds kind of like Falcon 9. Allowing the main craft to save its batteries for efficient cruising without being required to carry enormous takeoff batteries. Hmm. I missed wow. all of that. I'm just transfixed. Yeah. <laughs> by, by the flappy flap. What are we? This looks like, uh, was there a movie called Planes? You know, like Cars? Yes. Yeah. Was there a movie called Planes as well? Mm -hmm. yeah. Basically. Yeah. Hmm. So uh, let's, hear, let's hear Ben's thoughts, then Joe's thoughts, and then I'll. I, I seriously thoughts. need you to read it to me again. It's. Uh, <laughs> Why don't they just make a two? Okay, so like the way the Falcon Nine, the booster takes off and then lands again. Uh -huh. It's basically saying that for a two-stage electric aircraft. So there's a there's a boost section that takes off, it detaches, and then returns, and then the main craft can like it says it saves its batteries for efficient cruising. Oh, throughout the rest of the flight. Okay, and and the the GIF we're saying here is the is wholly is unrelated, basically. The yeah, discovery yeah, just, is that? Nope. Endeavor. Nope. You're not what? gonna get it. Oh, okay. Well, it's a space know? shuttle on top of a airplane. Because look at what <laughs> airplane it's riding. That's a Maya Shevish or whatever. It's Soviet, so that's actually a Buran. Oh, there you go. Well, duh. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah. so I didn't know the Soviets made flappy planes. <laughs> this this seems wholly inefficient, considering we're. It seems like we're not too far off from batteries being able to have enough energy density to actually fly a plane. I think we've already seen this and I, there's a few companies out there that I don't think it's commercially available, but they've proven the technology like they can fly. It's not forever. Like you're not going to fly across the Atlantic. Like that, that'll right. be, that'll actually be a really cool thing, but there is a whole like electric aviation industry that's already mm -hmm. growing very quickly. Maybe this makes sense, but it seems a little bit, inefficient to have two aircrafts conjoined like this and 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 then on top of that more parts more problems more complexity i don't know uh, it, it, maybe if there's a way to make it extremely efficient that would this would make sense but it it sounds on the on the surface like it's it's too much like it's too much going on joe Okay, so one of the reasons I picked this is because I am actually working right now, um, not for this coming Monday, but for the one following about electric airplanes hmm. or the, the potential of, of, of uh, replacing our current aviation system with electric, like going electric with planes like we are with cars right now, uh, even though there's still obviously a very long way to go with cars too. Um, First of all, I'm not convinced, I'm not sure that it, it takes all that much extra battery to get off the ground than it does to be in the air. Um, I could be wrong about that, but um, it's an interesting topic because there's just so, there's just so much working against an electric plane that I didn't think about before I started looking into it and, and working on the video. Um, I, uh, I I'm not sure, I'm not sure a two stage thing really fix that because you're you st you still have the whole weight to power ratio thing, you know like you you you're basically you might have an extra booster with extra batteries and stuff but you're still having to lift all that off the ground, <laughs> you well, know and now more so right right because yeah you've got the other plane too yeah um yeah well I mean I'm, I don't want to spoil the video I'm working on too much but. It was it was saying that like um, jet fuel versus the energy density of lithium ion batteries, it's like forty five times more. Yeah. It's like forty five oh. to ninety times more. <laughs> Easy, so yeah. it's like imagine imagine a plane with forty five times heavier. Right. Yeah. To right. get the to, to get an equivalent plane. So yes. I mean, it's just like it's there's a lot of challenges involved mm -hmm. with that. Yeah. So yeah. you guys are I, I like both of your answers, but I think you're actually 
because of those limitations. I think, I mean, this is actually kind of a cool idea. I've never thought about this. <laughs> um, you could stage it like a rocket. When, you're, when your payload capacity and your range is is limited because of how heavy and stuff is, how heavy and all, you know, all of the limitations that an electric vehicle has. If you could have something that, because actually the fuel efficiency, the worst part of emissions for a jet engine, a jet is getting up to cruising altitude. Then they level off. The engines are putting out like a third or a quarter of the power. They're basically idling and takeoff is, is like where they're just, you know, having to utilize a bunch of energy. So if you could have something that, you know, is, half of it is just to get you up to cruising altitude and then detach and then it goes and lands so it doesn't have to cruise you could in theory you know yeah and in the that one could be you you know more for low speeds you know have have a different uh, less swept wing you know be more for the low altitude stuff and you know be optimized for just that climb and then just come back and glide back to the, the runway or something while the upper stage could be you know optimized for high speed and for you know, high altitude where the, the blades are, you know, at a different every, you know, everything just optimized for that cruising speed and stuff. Um, obviously, the complexity, though, of restacking an airplane to another airplane or whatever you do there That's, at every time it lands mm -hmm. is probably going to be preventative. But I mean, I think that's actually a cool I think physically that would be a way to solve some of the range and potential issues with a energy density that's forty five times less than a than jet fuel. Um, well, but. and also the idea is you could put solar panels on the wings and the the plane to help it. Um, and I was just looking up here because I remember seeing this. There is a thing called solar impulse, which is this uh, long range solar powered aircraft that circumnavigated the entire planet in 2016. Right. So so this does exist. This is a so electric flight is possible. Uh mm -hmm. it's just just in the the like convenience fashion that we have things now. I think and maybe Joe you'll get into in your video that uh, are we considering I don't know if that tweet was implying this but like by electric aircraft, that doesn't necessarily mean batteries. That that could mean fuel cells. And this is where I think there's a good argument for fuel cells, mm -hmm. if I understand it correctly. It's because of the 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 energy density in terms of the space and all that. You like like you can get more energy packed yeah. in there, I believe. It kind of kind of blends the two. It takes yes. the energy density of the a different fuel. Yeah. Um and so it's still electric, but it's not powered by electrons and lithium ion batteries yep. or whatever, yep. you know. Yep. Well, another yeah. thing, um, when you're talking about cruising altitude, the cruising altitude for an electric plane would be a lot lower because it's a prop plane. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it has to be in denser air in order to be able to push itself forward. Um, something that, that comes out in the video that I'd never really thought about before is, is the fact that um, an electric plane weighs the same when it lands as it does when it takes off because it's not burning mm. through thousands of gallons of fuel on the way mm -hmm. so so a regular plane gets lighter and more efficient the further it flies along whereas an electric plane Stay it's just same. as heavy when it lands as when it takes off but that so that can be that an okay thing do you guys remember when that plane like last year or two years ago had to do an emergency landing immediately after taking off and they can't really land safely full of fuel so it had to dump fuel and it ended up dumping it like all over yeah. a school and stuff like yeah mm. yeah so that would be I, interesting. actually that's funny. I talk about that in the in the video, but but yeah, like they they actually have to dump the fuel because it could burst the tires and damage the landing gear yes. because it's just that heavy. Yep. Or yeah, yeah it could so, be a tow vehicle. This is what Discord is talking about. It could be a a standard. You know, we can safely tow an aircraft all the time. Gliders do it all the time. You could just have a tow plane in front of it and take off and get it up above you know ten thousand feet or whatever, three thousand meters or something, and then. You know, that's kind of, I mean, that's kind of a cool, but you're right, yeah. uh, Joe, they would normally have to flow lower. Props are definitely not, but you can do compressors still. You can have like a compressor style, almost like a tur like a, a shrouded propeller that almost looks like a jet engine that's still electric power. It oh, just doesn't right. benefit. Have you from... seen the Lilium? You should pull this up mm -hmm. if you haven't seen it. Lilium jet. Cause this is the one that I saw that really blew my mind and it looks like I'm looking at it now. There's some. Oh yeah. More. I have seen, I'll pull it up here. I have seen Cause, this because this is this is kind of where it's at. I would say. I mean, cl clearly there's more to oh, it. Oh yeah, yeah. But 
this thing is le legit flying, and I think it goes 300 kilometers or something like that on a single charge. Um, yeah, I don't, so would those be impellers there, Tim, or propellers? I, I think they're just a ducted fan blade, basically. Right. Um, it looks like you have a bunch of little Dyson fans, like 30-something of them, on, yeah. built into the wings, and the wings can adjust, so it's a vertical takeoff and landing. I mean, honestly, this is where, like, Elon should just buy this company and <laughs> be like, yo, here's our brand new batteries that are way better than yours. And right. we're going to put some SpaceX people here that know about, you know, traveling Aero through dynamics. air or whatever. Um, but I think the, the idea here was that this is actually like, there's a map somewhere on the page that shows you how far it could travel in the U S I think it's a French company though. Um, but yeah, I mean, these guys are doing like doing it for real. Now this is regional point to point transportation. This isn't, you know, jumbo jet flying across the Atlantic or whatever. But I think right. it'll, I think it'll get there. I mean, it seems, or maybe it'll only ever be regional. I don't know. You know, maybe the long haul stuff will always be, you know, some form of fossil fuel or something like that. Yeah, but. I don't think we're. I, I think we could transfer it so or transform the industry so that it's more like a bunch of puddle jumping, short hop flights uh -huh. um, for uh, for like regional stuff. But like the yeah, the the long haul crossing ocean stuff, it's there's just no replacement. It's, for it's the Ubers right versus the a bus. You know, there's always going to be demand and, and reasons for each or the last last mile delivery of a package compared to freight yeah. and air delivery. You know, there's always going to be. But yeah, I, actually, rail is a good comparison here, right? Like, like yeah. rail still exists. Trucks are obviously faster, but it's just not economically feasible to put everything on a truck mm -hmm. versus rail. So sometimes, you know, so, so it still exists very much. So, yeah, I could see a future where you have these uh, little, yeah, puddle jumping stops, Uber Air. I think Uber had a thing called Uber Air, and then they kind of mm -hmm. shut it down. But, yeah. So who yeah, wants good to put idea. a bet on when do you think Elon will unveil a tesla plane or jet because he has talked i he brings it up on twitter like i, I just do a twitter advanced search because i bet he said it five times in the past year yeah i, I always thought he was super against that oh no he loves the idea of electric jets he's against motorcycles yeah he, he hates motorcycles by one or something like that i thought he was always talking about like every, everybody likes a flying car until it comes oh. crashing down or something a like flying that. car yes he wants like full-blown like supersonic um elon said that this is october 24th a few days ago sigh there should be a new supersonic jet this time electric um that would be something impressive how could you even do that yeah he's talked about it he's talked about it in interviews um yeah he he definitely he definitely talks about it. Let's see. Yeah, um, I think it'd be cool. How long until that until he comes out with something? I don't know. I would be we surprised August if he or something. Um, wait. Uh, I, he just keeps talking about it. He, I mean, he's mentioned it many times. But yeah. Sorry. What was that? I I wouldn't be surprised if they he announces a new company to do this within a year even. Right. Um, but by the time I, I mean a supersonic vertical takeoff land jet, that's. 15 years 20 well, years do you guys remember his if cameo ever, in i don't he had know a cameo if that's in iron man he had a cameo in iron man 2 where he goes hey i've got plans for this for the electric jet yeah <laughs> i mean he's always talked about electric jets yeah it's a great well, idea there, i know that there's a theoretical um idea of compressing air elect with with electric fans but compressing mm -hmm. it so much that it combusts like just mm -hmm. the air combusts so that you get like a jet engine like kind a plasma of drive thing going. or something yeah but i don't i don't know that it's ever actually been done i could be wrong about that yeah hmm. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this clip from our show. If that's just not enough for you and you want to watch the full episode, you can go to olfpod.com slash yt. And if you want more from us, you can consider becoming a Patreon member. You'll get early access to episodes. You can join our awesome community. You can actually watch us record live and get your name in the credits by going to olfpod.com slash Patreon. So thanks everyone for watching. Check back every Friday for new clips here and new episodes on the main channel. Thanks everybody.